Hello guys, this is Anish Vijay with another tutorial and this is on how I made my hair dynamics. So, um, it's called IK Dynamics. I used, uh, so as you can see, it is man automatically moving. It's in a Diane Golem cooking show thing. He has to manually, on, uh, manually animate the cap if I watched it correctly. And yeah, so I don't know why he doesn't use IK Dynamics. So, let's get to the tutorial. Oh, uh, as you can see, my rig has been improved. Uh, he has eyebrows, I mean eyelids, better eyelids, and they open wider. Uh, it goes to 2x2 two two when he's surprised and stuff, and this is like the normal place, and I less, made him less cross-eyed. Looks better, and you can now change the position of the eyelid, position of the eyes, eye depth, and pupil depth, so very cool. Okay, so tutorial time. Let's go into front view. Let's add some joints, small joints. Like so, so this small joint will be controlling. Well, I guess I'll show you first. Okay, so okay, grab the last joint, grab it at the end. Go to display. Uh, you don't have to off it, but I like it off. But just leave it there. If you don't want to see the green line going about, so enable it now, enable the dynamics, and that's about it. So now it should be working. So as you can see, it moves and hit play, goes back into position every time. And you can change the drag, the rot hold, say if it's a long thing. Uh, let me show you an example actually. So let's go to character, join tool, function F3. F3 to go into right view and say this is a tail. Um, oh, pretty big. <laughs> and let's add the IK dynamics again. Yeah, oh, we need to first grab the end and let's off the hand line this time so we don't see it. Oh, enable it and now when you hit play, it falls because we don't have the rot hole thing. So let's increase that and as you can see uh, yeah now it's holding in position and it's not moving enough so let's increase the drag oh increase the strength yeah okay so now as you can see it looks like a tail really cool um, uh, what else uh, yeah you don't uh, IK is basically any object you don't have to put it on bones so my hair was basic. Okay, so what I did for my hair was really simple. I just added a null, uh, which is at the bottom of the cube. Then we have a cube, and then we have a cube where the axis is over there. It's important that the axis is at the edge. And then we had the IK, like so. And we put the glass cube as the end. And when we move the null, it works. And you can change the settings. You can even make a spline over here curves depending on where you want it to rotate like if, a t if it's a tail you would use this more for something like hair or something yeah I'm gonna make a nice character using this thing uh, so uh, say you want uh, yeah that's about it I think so thanks for watching hope this helped you out and yeah bye